it's always Brady Montana, Montana Brady, Brady Montana, Montana Brady. Well, how about Johnny Unitas? And how about Bart Starr? And how about these guys that played before the Super Bowl or their careers wove into the Super Bowl era that are so oftentimes forgotten because they matter too. And Bart Starr was also beyond everything, total class, total elegance, total gentleman. He was forever connected to the Al- Alabama program, which was in its darkest time, arguably, ever. They went 0-10 during a season that he was on the on the team, even though he didn't play because he was injured and he was in and out of the lineup. But always incredibly gracious and philanthropic to those in Alabama and those in Wisconsin. Forever after football, he was an ambassador He raised money. He was all about charity and helping the community and being part of the organization and the program. The guy was a man's man and a winner's winner and all class. And frankly, I don't know if they wire athletes that way anymore. Maybe you have to be a 17th round draft pick and make no money and have to work after your career because you didn't make tons of money during your career, despite being a five-time champion and a two-time Super Bowl MVP. Maybe you can't get wired like that anymore. But he came from humble upbringings. His dad was impossible, impossible to to impress. And so when he got to Green Bay and played for Vince Lombardi, he's like, this is just like my dad. Nothing I do will ever be good enough. So this is easy. I've done this my entire life. You know, Brady's had a great career. Really has. But the ultimate winner in NFL history, may very well be Bart Starr because all of his winning happened within an eight-year period. Didn't take 20 years to win those. Took eight. 